Hello. <laughs> so I, I just start again. So I'm a designer for Adidas. And, but besides my work for Adidas, I do as well design my own collection, which is called Black Current. Um, my collection is mainly inspired by the artist Pierre Solage. He's a painter who mainly works with black um, and creates with uh, ductus um, different surfaces which are um, reacting to light. Then sci-fi movies are also a great inspiration for, for me. Future textiles, wearables, and functional clothing, and as well privacy. Here you can see a slide just um, to reflect the mood of the collection. Then um, in fashion, you normally have three dimensions, which are color, textiles, and cuts. With my collection, I have focused on future textiles, used um, Kevlar, carbon, 3D mesh, black reflective, functional neoprene, and um, we are currently in contact with this artist who is um, working on the blackest black, so then probably the next collection will have um, pieces with uh, Blacker than black on. <laughs> Super black. Um, here's just a picture of the one piece which is made out of um, functional neoprene. This neoprene is um, normally used for wetsuits, for proper wetsuits. And um, this piece is inspired by a uh, armor. Here you can see a sweater which um, is cut out of um, Kevlar. Kevlar is knife proven. It's I'm here wearing he it is as well. wearing it. <laughs> the um, next one is 3D mesh and um, carbon, which is uh, which can protect you from impact. Yeah, and um, black reflective. Um, Ole, video, bitte. We have You can, you can uh, see these stripes um, and how they react on the, on the surrounding light. It's normally really black. We have it over there in our stand. You can take a look at it uh, afterwards. But you see with different lighting, it totally reacts on, uh, on, the, on, the, on the pans, on the, on the fabric in different ways. So here it's kind of a green shimmer. You can have totally different colors, but when you, when you, when you hit it with a flash, it gets really, really white, even though it is black normally. That was our um, fashion show at uh, Berlin Alternative Fashion Week in, uh, in fall. Okay, so um, my name is Gabriel. I'm uh, Phoebe's boyfriend. <laughs> and I'm also... Lifesaver. <laughs> I'm uh, also taking care... Like, my background is I, I worked for Vice for a long time here in Berlin and then for a business consultancy which is doing uh, innovation... Um, and uh, right now I'm doing Phoebe's marketing and I'm kind of taking care a bit of the tech stuff, which I have absolutely no plan about, but I'm learning and that is uh, what's happening with a lot of people right now at the moment. And it makes a lot of fun. Um, Phoebe just said there, well, uh, there have always been in, in the history three dimensions in fashion, but now there's a fourth one and that is technology, which gives you a whole new level, a whole new array of possibilities. What we did, or like, you, you, you're gonna like get a lot of information regarding this, but like, just to make it short, you have like an input through a sensor normally, then you have some intelligence in the middle, and then you have an output which could be an LED or um, some, some robotic part, or you can uh, attach it to a computer. There's a lot of, lot, lot of uh, possibilities, but there's nothing really market ready at the moment. So everybody's really, pretty much playing around. And um, for us, it is a, a, a great way of storytelling. I mean, you, you know it all. It's, it's the most important thing right now in, in fashion is like to have content constantly. And that is what we do. We have uh, a lot of fun doing it. And somewhere maybe we have a product which is, uh, which is market ready. So since uh, Phoebe's um, approach to fashion has a lot to do with like blackness and, and light, 
and how it um, works together. Our um, first idea was to take an input, which is light, and then the output being light as well. So uh, we, uh, that, that's the Fab Lab in, in Nuremberg. We're really happy that we have it. I mean, that is why, why we pretty much went into this. And we tinkered around with the, something called a slave flash. A slave flash is a flash which is reacting on a flash. You probably know this from photo studios. You have, like, the photographer has a camera with, like, one flash, but, like, around him it's a lot of big flashes who then react on it simultaneously because it's light and it's pretty quick. So. Um, we tinkered around here, and uh, there's these super nerdy guys <laughs> who know a lot of uh, this technology stuff, um, who are a lot of help when you don't get the results which uh, you want to achieve. And then afterwards, we had like a result which we really liked, like we got a lot of light out and really in, a, in, a, in an instant. So what we did then is we made a prototype, and we also showed this at the uh, Berlin Alternative um, Fashion Week, and. Um, from this prototype, we made another prototype, which we're going to show you now. How to, did you connect it? I connected, yeah. yeah. So, Ole, can you light out? So, this is what happens. So it flashes back. It's a privacy functionality. Um, you, like, if, you, if you're drunk coming out of the club somewhere at night, and you don't want the, the, the pub to photograph you, then that's what's happening. So, thank you, Ole. So that was our, or it's like one of our two projects. The other one is um, since um, Phoebe always strives to create fashion which sort of empowers you and, and, and works as an armor in these cold times out there. Um, we did this one project. You see up there, there's a blood pressure device, which probably your grandma is using. And uh, we kind of uh, played around with it, and now it, uh, it checks your blood pressure. And as soon as the blood pressure goes over like a specific um, um, rate, um, the, these balloons, balloons are getting filled up, and the jacket is blowing up. We got a video for that. Ole, das Video bitte. Und bisschen weniger Licht. So uh, that is what I mean with doing content with, your, with the stuff you're working on. Thank you. This is uh, absolutely not a market-ready thing, but maybe it will become something somewhere. So that's pretty much it for now. So are there any, any questions? Oh, wait. I gave you the microphone. Thank you. So I'm wondering about the, the usage of carbon, because carbon is a quite expensive material. Mm -hmm. How much carbon is in, in, our, in your textiles? Well, um, I beg to differ. A few days ago, um, it was announced that there is actually a 3D printer now, which is printing carbon. So uh, prices for carbon are going to go down significantly. So um, we will see a lot of carbon in textiles. Of course, like, well, uh, carbon is very stiff, like the property of carbon is to be very, very strong and very, very hard since it's not really something you can, you can have like a, as, as a comfy piece of, of, of garment. But um, in, in different uh, applications like um, security or, or when, you, when you need stiffness and, and security, that's uh, going to be a big thing and it's going to be very, very cheap. Like you can print, you can print tools like this really, really solid things right now. So that's, uh, we're going to see a lot of that. 
Okay, and the pullover you're wearing there is Kevlar? Yeah, right. right. There's a Kevlar inside. We did not try this out yet, but <laughs> supposedly you can hit me with a knife right now and I'm not going to die. I hope nobody has a knife. <laughs> no, we don't try this thing. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Phoebe. Thank you very much, Gabriel.